What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today I've got the Imperial Jump Trooper. Uh, this figure is exclusive to GameStop in the United States and I believe EB Games in Canada. Um, unsure as to whether this will end up going anywhere else in the world. Um, but at this stage, it is at those locations only. Unless, of course, you go to eBay. Um, and there's plenty of places online that are stocking that will be stocking this one if they're not already. Um, so you, you can absolutely get this. I got this from eBay seller Freeman Toys. Um, that's, that's where I have to go sometimes to get my action figures. Otherwise, I miss out. Um, but that's okay. I'm happy to have this one. I'm really happy to have this one. This is a great looking figure. Looking at the box. Uh, small to write up on the back. An elite squadron within the Imperial ranks, jump troopers, also known as rocket troopers, were outfitted with jetpacks and utilized in tight spaces. They were trained to act in unison, often swarming and overwhelming their targets. And of course, no number on the side because it's an exclusive. And that's it for the box. Now, it's a pretty great looking figure. It's a really nice looking Imperial. Imperial outfit. I really I really dig this. Now the figure uses mostly parts of the regular Stormtrooper with the exception of the torso which is Sandtrooper torso because it's got the peg on the back um, that was used for the Sandtrooper's backpack which now has in place the jetpack. Uh, obviously a new head, uh, new head sculpt, non-removable helmet and these new shoulder pieces of armor here which look really really great to be honest um, they're fantastic so the rest of it utilizing the existing stormtrooper and other pieces except the new bits now weapons he comes with the standard E11 blaster which is nicely weathered um, I've seen someone do some photos with this one using a bigger gun which looks looks better so I may switch it out for for this one does have the working holster on the back there, of course. So we've got the printed Imperial logo on each shoulder. This really striking yellow color. It looks really, really great. And then just on the standard white shoulder there. But yeah, I really like the look of that shoulder piece. Now the helmet's really great too. It's got the sort of spine at the top, which makes me think of some of the clones from um, the Phase 2 clones. I'm thinking of Captain Fordo, um, and I can't think of the other guy off the top of my head. I think it's Neo. Um, they've both got this sort of thin sort of spine sort of thing on the top of their helmets like that. But I think it looks really great. Let alone the, the markings on the top of the helmet. It looks sweet. And as you can see, the sort of mouthpiece has only got two little yellow dots as opposed to the full teeth they normally have. It's just another nice piece to s separate them from the, from the rest. And here's the jetpack. Now I like that they've got the sort of score marks carbon scoring there from the uh, thrusters now, like I said that just just peg into the back and these tubes sort of move inside they sort of just swivel in there to allow that to move now interestingly this is the first figure to come out where we've had a stand for the black series um, Probably should have started this a long time ago. Um, it's it's all right. It sort of just slips the foot in there. It's not a tight fit. Um, it doesn't. I imagine it would fit tighter with other figures. Um, if you really push it in there, you can get that to be a little bit tighter. But you know, I'm probably not going to use it on this guy. I'll use it on something that requires it a little better. But you know, I hope either they offer up these somehow. Whether we, whether we see them with figures for the future or uh, they allow us to buy, buy a lot in bulk. I don't know, because it'd need a couple hundred uh, at this stage. But um, 
yeah, I'm quite happy without them. I'd rather peg stands than this, but this is this is alright. It looks nice. It's pretty plain. Doesn't need to look any more full on than that. It looks alright. So we'll see what the future lies for the stands. Now articulation, as I always try to cover, sometimes I forget. Uh, ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, double joints at the elbows, ball hinge wrists, joint in the torso, uh, ball hinged hips, swivel at the thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinged ankles. So full range of articulation there, which is as to be expected these days. Any extra is a bonus. But that is the Imperial Jump Trooper, and uh, yeah, he's a cool one. I'd like to get another one. I do try very hard to get two of each trooper, but uh, sometimes it doesn't always work, specifically with these exclusives that are a little bit more costly, but it's always nice to build up the Imperial, Imperial ranks. So I'll take it. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments or feedback in the comment section below. And all the links to my social media stuff is in the description. So until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.